what time is it? You know, whenever I get writing, I just tend to get lost in time, which makes me feel like I'm always late for something. <laughs> but I am not making excuses, you know? John F. Kennedy once said, we all need to use time as a tool, not a crutch. Albert Einstein believed that time is an illusion. And Mason Cooley, he saw it as a quandary. He said, regret for wasted time is only more wasted time. Then there was the cartoonist, Bill Keen. He was a realist about it. And he saw time as a progression, writing, yesterday is the past, tomorrow is the future, and today is a gift, which is why we call it the present. I love that one. People put it on birthday cards all the time. And Harvey Mackey, he found it a bit of a riddle. Time is free, but priceless. You can't own it, but we can all use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. And once you've lost it, you can never get it back. It is a bit of a conundrum how when we're young, waiting even a half hour for something can feel like we are waiting forever. And then as we age, just maybe one more half hour with our loved ones is never feeling like it's long enough. And I don't think that anyone can argue that while those sleepless months with a newborn feel like they will never ever end for us, looking back at childhood shows you that it really does all fly by in a flash. Dr. Seuss put it this way, how did it get so late so soon? It's night before it's afternoon. December is here before it's June. My goodness, how time has flown. How did it get so late so soon? And Jeremy Irons, he had a great take on time. We all have our own time machines, he wrote. Some take us back, we call those memories. And some take us forward, and we call those dreams. Which all makes me feel like it's probably time I was somewhere else. <laughs> For Aging and Awesome, I'm Aaron Breen. Reconvene with Aaron Breen is presented by the Medicare Store. The Medicare Store is local and gives free, unbiased, personal Medicare advice. Visit the Medicare Store today.